Yo, 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 King Ernie coming to y'all live and direct. The night I want to speak on, this guy is a piece of trash, man. I ain't going to lie to y'all. His name is Benny Martinez. Benny Martinez is from Philadelphia. Yes, Philadelphia. Since everybody's claiming I'm being biased, I'm not being biased. I honestly don't know no rats in Philadelphia that have a story strong enough that I could point the children in the right direction. But this guy here, this mud here, Benny Martinez, dishonorable. He got with an officer by the name of Kujdik, how I spell it. C-U-J-I-D-K, something of that nature. This dude had Benny, you know, copping off of individuals. And when he would cop, they were recorded and he would go back and get a warrant to raid these people's houses later, like while after. They were really being smart about it. The thing is, Benny got tired of being a slave. They was using him. They had moved him into another crib. <clears throat> Whereas though, you know, they keep a better eye on him and, you know, probably they probably wasn't, making, wasn't charging him nothing. And that's what I want y'all to understand, youngins. You can't really get out of the, the mindset or get out of the way of the fact that you don't know who the CI could be. And they have him do so much work, you can't even tell no more. Like, before you'd be able to look at your paper, like, oh, man, that was so-and-so. Now, with so much that they may have done that you get lost in the sauce, not even knowing what happened. So, this guy was the type of individual who put his life on the line. He was a Donnie Brasco, man. He was a vicious Donnie Brasco, except he wasn't law enforcement. But... When you read into him, you can find out that every cop or anybody that knew him said they was, they was draining him. They was taking everything out of him. But you got to remember, this guy Martinez, Benny Martinez, the, no, I'm sorry, Benny the Rat Martinez, was an individual who signed up for this. He said when he looked at his father, he sensed the strength of power through a badge and a gun. I got to say this to Benny the Rat Martinez. If that was the case, why didn't you just go to the force? Why did you take time, wasting time, dishonoring people, locking them up? When well, you could have went to them, you could have played CI and went to everybody. Listen, I could honor that. I could honor this. Listen, they want me to be a CI. I don't want to be it. They, you know, they, they messing my life up. Uh, everybody, if I come to cop to you, Say you don't have it, if you really cared. He started acting like he cared for a friend of his by the name of Hector. He started talking about, I didn't line up Hector. I didn't do that. I didn't do you lined up Hector. You know why you lined up Hector? Because why would you go around him if he's really your true friend? And youngins, you got to understand that if you got true friends, they're not going to come around you with the negativity. They're not going to come around you with the BS, they're going to stay away from you. Like, man, ain't nobody trying to go around you. And you should make them stay away from you. You should not have them around that nonsense. One day, while Benny was in the home, a group of men came knocking on his door, banging on his door. And this was years after he was already a confidential informant. When they was banging on his door, it was a group. He said it was a gang of somebody by the name of Drum. I never heard of no gang in Philly by that name, but I'm guessing that that may have been the truth. And he said, them people wanted answers. And one of them pulled out their phone and Googled his name. Benny Martinez. Benny the Rat. And when they showed it, he still was able to talk him down. You know why he was able to talk him down? People don't really care. People don't care about nobody being a rat. People don't care nothing about that. What they'll do, they'll go further, further, and further, just in order to get money. It's sad, but I didn't see individuals say, man, I don't care what that nigga doing. I'm going to get some money. Me shame. A rat from the uptown section of Philadelphia. Yeah. I mean, this boy, my OG put me down back in the day. He walked through Graterford on E-Block, and they stabbed him about a thousand times, man. You hear me? They stabbed him till their arms was tired, 
that he was a rat. But everybody in the city deal with him because of what? Because he know how to make money. And they felt like because he has given them that aura, yeah, you know what? He ain't going to tell on me. When you probably would never know if he tells on you. Because he can buy off you. And you don't know what times and dates will remember. And they can come years later, weeks later, whatever the case may be. Y'all got to start paying attention to what's going on around y'all. I can see how Benny got away. Benny the Rat got away with it because in the Kansas section of Philadelphia, oh my gosh, forget about it. They're everywhere. It's a lot of drugs. So you can't really look at one person and say, he's a rat because he's out here because people come from anywhere getting bundles. If it's a, if it's a hell of a dope out right at that time, people just come and want to hustle. I remember back in the day, they used to make anybody, the uh, the dudes that take the bundles, they, they the casework, and that make anybody that person, man. I want for the youngest to understand that this is why I say stay away from the streets. Benny Martinez was an individual who wanted power because his dad was a police officer, but he didn't have a brain to go become a police officer. It's sad to say that Benny's wife even knew about it. When the guys came on the porch and wanted to ask him about what was going on and why is his name, blah, 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 he had his wife record the whole thing, putting that lady in a bunch of nonsense. And that's what I got to tell some of the spouses. You don't got to be a part of your spouse's BS. You can tell your spouse, look, you, you turn like that? That's not healthy for our family. I'm moving. I'm getting away from you. I'm King Erna from the Honor Your Life campaign. People always call King Erna bias. Far from bias. But y'all would have to point out the rats to me. You know why? It's my city. I don't swing with rats. So how would I know? Only time I ever start knowing who rats were and they didn't have a name where the children are grasp it. And they didn't have a story where the children are grasp it and be like, you know what? I'm not living that life because of that sucker. They would want to live their life because them rats was rats that tell, get right out of jail, tell, get right out of jail, but kept a low profile. You never seen them, but they didn't banged about a thousand individuals, man, sent them in the can. I'm King Erna from the Honor Your Life campaign. Never think that King Erna is biased about who is a rat or who isn't a rat. My goal is to make sure that that rat story is strong enough for the children to be like, huh. I won't do that again. I won't, I, I, I won't let them coerce me to doing that. Because a lot of children, believe it or not, it was on CNN. Everybody look it up. It was on CNN not too long ago. A lot of children are being pulled over by the police for buying a bag of weed and taken to corners to buy more weed and locking individuals up. It's no honor in the streets, youngins. Get away from it. Get an education. If you want to be a police officer, go be a police officer. But do not, I repeat, turn into a confidential informant or a pure rat. King Erna, live and direct.